Now the first step is to uncheck beta in Steam. So go to Steam, click on Steam over here, go to settings and then go to interface. Now over here, if Steam beta update is selected, in that case, you can select no beta chosen. Select this option and then launch the game and then check. This has worked for many players, so it might work for you. Next step is to sign out from Ubisoft Connect. So open Ubisoft Connect. So over here you can see Ubisoft Connect. If it's not here, you can just launch Ubisoft Connect. And once you launch Ubisoft Connect, uh, in that now once you launch it, now you can log out. Just log out from here. Now once you log out, now quit from Ubisoft Connect. So if you you can. You can just close Ubisoft Connect and make sure it's not open somewhere. So you can task manager, open task manager and find Ubisoft Connect in the list. So if you find Ubisoft Connect, in my case, I have already closed it. So close Ubisoft Connect and then verify the game files in Steam. So make a right click on this game, select properties and then go to install files tab and then click on verify integrative game files. Once the verification is 100% complete, launch the game and then you can check. Next step is to delete the config file. When you delete the config file, all the saved settings will be lost. Now for this, you can open File Explorer on the computer. Go to Documents folder. Open My Games folder. Here you can see Rainbow Six Siege. Open this folder. Open this folder. Now here you can see game settings. So you can make a right click. If you want to create a backup, you can copy this file and then maybe paste it to the desktop. Once you have a backup, you can delete this uh, game settings dot file. Once you delete it, now you can launch the game and then check. Next step is to uninstall and reinstall BattleEye. Now for this, make a right click on the game, select manage. Now click on browse local files. Now open BattleEye folder. Over here you can see uninstall BattleEye folder. Make a right click, then click on run as administrator. Click on yes to allow. And once this is done, now again make a right click on install BattleEye. Click on run as administrator. Click on yes. And then you can check. If that does not work, uninstall BattleEye. Make a right click, then click on run as administrator. Click on yes to allow. And then launch the game. When you launch the game, during the launch, it will install BattleEye once again. And then you can check. Next step is to run Steam or Ubisoft Connect as an administrator. So uh, you can close Steam. If you have the game on Steam, exit Steam. And then you can type in Steam in Windows search box, make a right click on Steam and then click on run as administrator. If you, if you have the game on Ubisoft Connect, you can close Ubisoft Connect. And then when you launch Ubisoft Connect, make sure that you run as administrator and then check. Next step is to Steam users try launching game from Ubisoft Connect. So you can launch Ubisoft Connect. If it is hidden over here, you can open Ubisoft Connect or you can launch Ubisoft Connect and then you can launch the game from Ubisoft Connect. Now the next step is to clear download cache. Now for this, for Steam users, you can go to Steam, then go to settings and then go to downloads and click on clear cache and then confirm it. And then you can launch the game and then check if you have the game on Ubisoft Connect. You can also go to file explorer and then go to program files. It's program files x86. Now open the Ubisoft folder, Ubisoft game launcher. Here you can see this cache folder. If you want to create a backup, you can create a backup. And once just copy and paste it to the desktop. Once you have a backup, you can make a right click and delete it. And then you can launch the game and then check. Next step is to run the, run the game as an administrator from the game installation folder. So wherever the game is installed, go to the game installation folder. And once you go to the game installation folder, now find the game exe file. Now, once you find the game exe file, make a right click in the game exe file, select properties, go to this tab, put a check on the box which says run this program as an administrator, hit apply, click on OK, launch the game and then check. If that does not work, again go to properties and then go to this tab once again and then select, put a check on over here and select Windows 8, hit apply, click on OK, launch the game. If that does not work, you can even select Windows 7, hit apply, click on OK, launch the game and then check. If that does not work, uh, you can put a check on the box which says disable full screen optimization, hit apply, click on OK, launch the game and then check. If that does not work, you can do the same thing with this exe file and then check. 
now still not working so when you put a check on all these boxes still not working in that case you can uncheck these boxes and then hit apply click on ok do the same thing with the cxe file and then follow the next step now the next step is to verify the game files now again verify the game files make a right click go to properties go to install files tab and then click on verify integrative game files once the verification is 100 percent complete launch the game and then check now the next step is to delete the settings file which we have already done skip this step now if you have any other game which has the battle eye uh, exe file like b service underscore x64 dot exe then you can just first of all rename this service in the game folder and then you can copy the be service dot underscore x64 file from any other game which has the battle line now for this first of all go to the game installation folder manage browse local files now find be services so open battle eye and over here you can see be service underscore x64 so you can rename it to whatever you want dot old for example once you rename it now you can go to the go to find if you have any other game which has the battle eye so for example pubg has battle eye so let me open this let me check if it has had i think this game has battle eye battle eye open this battle eye and here you can see b service underscore x64 you can copy this and then go back to the rainbow six c's folder and then open battle eye and you can paste this one once you have this one now you can launch the game and then check if you face any problem you can always delete this uh, file if you face any problem you can delete it and you can just rename it back like you can remove the dot old from here and then follow the next step now the next step is to try dx11 or dx12 in launch option so you can make a right click on the game select properties go to install files tab so go to the general tab and then over here type in dash dx11 now you can launch the game and then check if that does not work you can even try it dash dx12 launch the game and then check still not working you can remove this follow the next step now the next step is to allow the game exe file to antivirus program so if you have any third party antivirus like a vast not on bit defender mcafee whichever antivirus program you have allow the game exe file to antivirus program now if you are using windows security in that case open windows settings go to privacy and security if you have windows 11 in windows 10 click on update and security now click on windows security then click on virus and threat protection scroll down at the bottom you will see manage ransomware protection click on it now click on allow an app through control folder access click on yes to allow then click on add an allowed app browse all apps go to the game installation folder and then open the game folder and then select the game exe file click on open again click on add a, add an allowed app browse all apps and then select this exe file click on open now type in control panel in windows search box go to control panel system and security windows defender firewall then click on allow an app or feature through windows defender firewall click on change settings at the top click on allow another app click on browse and then go to the game installation folder once again and then open the game folder i'm sorry open the game folder select the game exe file click on open click on add in my case the game is already added again to click on allow another app click on browse and this time second the second exe file click on open click on add in my case both the files are already added so once the game is added over here now you can launch the game and then you can check now the next step is to perform a clean installation of your graphics card driver this is important so go, if you have nvidia card go to nvidia website if you have amd card go to amd website i'm showing for nvidia so to perform a clean installation go to nvidia website and then select your graphic card from the list make sure that you select your graphic card and then select the right operating system so if you have windows 11 select windows 11 if you have windows 10 select windows 10 and then click on find and once you click on find you will see this page now here you will find the latest ge force game ready driver now click on view and then once you click on view you will see the download option click on download 
and let the download complete. Now, once the download is complete, run the exe file. Now, once you run the exe file, you will see this screen. Click on agree and continue and then select custom option over here. By default, express would be selected. Select custom and then click on next and then you will see this screen. Now, put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation. Make sure you put a check on perform a clean installation and then click on next and let the installation complete. Once the installation is complete, restart your computer and after the system restart, launch the game. Now AMD card users, first of all, uninstall the current graphic card driver, then go to, uh, then restart your computer and then go to AMD website and then install the latest driver and then restart your computer once again and then launch the game. Next step is to run the game on dedicated graphic card. Now for this type in graphics settings in Windows search box, click on graphics settings and then click on add desktop app and then again go to the game installation folder and then open the game folder, select the game exe file, click on add. Once the game is added, now you can find the game in the list. Click on the game and then over here you can see GPU preference. Select high performance and you will see your graphic card. Now launch the game and then check. Next step is for AMD users, install this AMD 25.2.1 optional update. Now for this, you can search this in Google. Go to AMD website and over here, scroll down. And over here, you will see this optional update. You can click on this update and then you can run this exe file and then restart your computer and then launch the game. If that does not work, you can even install this AMD 25.1.1 optional update. You can search in Google. Again, you can go to AMD website only and then scroll down and download this optional update. And once the download is complete, run this exe file and then restart your computer and then launch the game. Next step is to try debug mode in NVIDIA control panel. Now for this, you can go to desktop, make a right click on the desktop, show more option NVIDIA control panel. And once NVIDIA control panel is open at the top left, you will see the help button. Click on help over here, help option, and then click on debug mode. And then you can launch the game and then check. Next step is to install Visual C++ file. This is important. So open this link in a browser. The link is provided in the video description. Open this link and it will take you to Microsoft website. Here you can see Visual Studio files. You have to download this x86 and x64. So download this x86 and then you can run this exe file. If you see the repair option, click on repair. If you see the install button, hit install. Download this x64 file as well. You have to install both x86 and x64. Now run this exe file. If you see repair, click on repair. If you see the install button, hit install and let the installation complete. Make sure both are installed. Once installed, you can close this and then restart your computer. Restart is a must after this and after the system restart, launch the game. Next step is to update Windows to the latest version. This is important. So go to Windows Update or Update and Security and then click on Check for Update. Once all the updates are installed over here, then restart your computer and after the system restart, launch the game and then check. Still not working. The next step is to close all the overclocking application like if you have MSI afterburner, revert tuner running, close it. Remove the undervolt if you have undervolted the computer. Disable Steam overlay. Now for this you can go to Steam, make a right click on the game, select properties, turn off the option which says enable the Steam overlay while in game. Turn this off. Also if you have any other overlay application running like Discord running, you can go to Discord settings and turn off overlay. If you have Nvidia app running, you can open Nvidia app. If you have this running, go to settings and turn off the option which says overlay over here. If overlay is on, you can turn it off from here. Sorry. You will have an off option, so you can just turn it off. Now, or you can simply close all the overlay application and then launch the game. If you have any kind of uh, external, uh, any kind of uh, software, third party software or application running, close it. Unplug all the external devices like OTAs, wheel, pedals. If you have any kind of USB adapter connected, disconnect it, disconnect. Extra controller connected, disconnect multiple monitor, try launching the game on single monitor, close all the third party application and software. Next step is to increase the virtual memory. So to increase the virtual memory, type in view advanced system settings in window search box and then click on view advanced system settings and then click on the first settings and then go to advanced tab and then click on change over here and then select the drive 
So uncheck the box which says automatically manage paging file size for all drives. Uncheck this box and select the drive where the game is installed. So select the drive and then once you select the right drive, now put a check on custom size and for initial size it's 1.5 into total RAM. So you can check the total RAM in Windows settings. You can go to system and then go to about and total RAM in my case is 16 gigabyte. So you can calculate accordingly. In my case is 16 GB. So I will calculate as per 16 GB. So and first of all, we have to convert 16 GB into megabyte. So we will open calculator. So type in calculator in run box and then click on OK. And over here, uh, it's 16. 1.5 into total RAM. Total RAM in my case it's 16 RAM, 16 GB. So 1 16 into 1024. 1024 is actually 1 GB is equal to 1024 megabyte. So 16 GB in megabyte will be 16384 into 1.5. 1.5 into total RAM. This is my total RAM in megabyte. Now 1.5 into total RAM total RAM that is into 1.5. So in my case initial size is 24576. 24576 and maximum size is 3 into total RAM. Now total RAM in my case that is 16 gigabyte. I have 16 gigabyte of RAM. So 16 into 1024. I have converted this in megabyte. Megabyte now that is 3 into total RAM. So total RAM is this much into 3. That is 49152. 49152. 4915152. Now click on set over here. Then click on OK. OK. Apply. OK. OK. Now restart computer. Make sure that you restart your computer after this. Now, the next step is to update the BIOS. So go to your system manufacturer website, select your model number, and then update the install the latest BIOS. In case of laptop, make sure battery is more than 10% and the AC adapter is connected when you update the system BIOS. After the BIOS update, launch the game. Last step is to uninstall and reinstall the game to different drives. So if nothing is working, you can just uninstall the game. Now, after you uninstall the game, go to the game installation folder, delete the game folder, and then install the game to C drive. So if the game is installed to any other drive like D drive or E drive, try to install the game to C drive and then check. If the game is already installed to C drive, then try to install the game to another, another SSD or HDD and then check. So one of the steps shown in this video should help you to run the game successfully on your Windows computer. So that will be all. Thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel.